for any of my young black sisters. I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say. I was traveling on the train today. Um, it was a packed train, there was delays and all of that jazz. A couple of women got on a few stops after me. One of them happened to be this pretty, beautiful young black woman. There was another one behind her and I think that woman accidentally barged into the young black woman. The young black woman persisted to say, babes, what do you expect? You're standing right behind me. Granted, absolutely. The other woman who barged muttered under her breath, I'm sorry, very intimidated. Now I was away away and I heard it. The young black woman said, what did you say? In that moment, something happened for me personally. That beautiful, pretty young girl lost that inner beauty. She's still beautiful on the outside and all of that jazz, but her attitude absolutely stuck. Now I get it, we've all been waiting for the train, 20 minute delay, we're all a little bit upset. But her attitude, it wasn't just, hey, I'm a bit frustrated, it was anger. I know this because I have been there. Here is what I want to say. Young women, young black women, you've got to deal with the anger. Listen, it has come through a generational line of things that have happened. That's not okay. We're not saying it's okay. But you have got to break the chains. You have got to break the line. You can choose love even when somebody barges you. When you are coming from this place of absolute aggression and defense, which is what she was doing, it's not good for your health, it's not good for your stress, it's not good for us as a whole. We need to deal with it. So please, please deal with your anger.